Uh, well, let's take a look at what is happening in the markets. And of course, we start off with the local boss. I did get a mixed handover from uh, the Asian markets with some news coming out of China uh, that property developer Country Garden uh, has suspended trading in its shares. Uh, this is amid the uh, firm having delays when it comes to releasing its financial results. Of course, we did have uh, the investors out on the JC coming back after a long weekend. For most of the day with subdued sentiment, really nothing much happened uh, during the day. It was trading in f on flat ground, but we have seen it now sinking into red territory as the day ends. Of course, we did also get uh, some bad news coming out uh, from the APSA PMI suggesting that uh, manufacturing activity uh, did shrink uh, below the 50-point mark. Uh, the all share declining more than a tenth of a percent. We are seeing the financial 15 carrying most of those losses. Um, with a loss just shy of 1%, industrial 25, they're declining almost two-thirds of a percent. But backing that overall trend by quite a big margin is the resources 10 complex. They're advancing almost a 2%. Let's take a look at what is happening stateside and on that front, of course, investors still di digesting the PCE inflation figure. Of course, the Fed's uh, preferred measure of inflation for uh, February that came out on Friday. Uh, it did come in in line with market expectations uh, rising 2.5% year on year, but still proving that inflation is still quite sticky. So we did have a C, we are uh, seeing a sea of red over there, S&P 500 declining almost 1%. The tech heavy NASDAQ with a loss there of almost one and a half percent and the Dow declining more than one percent. Let's take a look at what is happening uh, in the markets across the Atlantic. We did also get quite a few data points there uh, with a PMI also suggesting a contraction there in manufacturing activity, even though we did get uh, data uh, there showing that inflation is cooling down uh, in the Eurozone. Uh, the FTSE 100 declining uh, more than a tenth of a percent, the CAC 40 shedding uh, more than nine tenths of a percent, and the DAX there also with a loss of uh, the same margin. Let's take a look at what is happening on the currency scene and we start off with how the RAND is doing against some of the major currencies. You are seeing uh, some strength coming through to the RAND uh, at 18 Rand 80 against the US dollar, against the pound at 23 Rand 63 and against the Euro at 20 Rand 24. Let's take a look at how the other currency pairs are doing. We do have the euro dollar there uh, with uh, standing at 1.07, pound dollar at 1.25, and the yen just below 152 against the US dollar.